There's a large number of uh, tools available for image classification and in the Saga toolbox. And so we go to image analysis and then we have a whole list of them and many, many derived from the OpenCV library. And in this case, we want to do an uh, unsupervised classification. So we're going to do the k-means clustering for grids algorithm. Which is a clustering algorithm. So it's, it's going to try to cluster pixels that have uh, relatively similar values in each band and, and put them together. So hopefully it will see that uh, all the pixels in the C will be very blue and not very red. And also have very low values for uh, infrareds and UV. And it's trying, going to try and combine those and, and by itself think of the most logical classes. So we first need to pick our input file, our input grid. So we just uh, select our grids. If you have uh, just loaded the satellite picture, you'll see all the different bands. If you've put them in a in a virtual raster like we did, then you'll just see the virtual raster rule. So we'll select our virtual raster, click OK. And we'll leave the methods to the default methods. And uh, here it's got a number of clusters, so you can change this. So if you're very certain, uh, if you have a good idea of how many, many different types there are in your, uh, in your data set, you can give can use this to steer it in the right direction. So if you set it to two, it will probably classify um, the two most different things. And so hopefully it's going to be the land and the sea. In this case, we're going to leave it as a default value of 10 and just see what it comes up with. Um, and we'll leave all the other options to the default settings. And then we just click run. Okay, so the algorithm has uh, finished running. It's giving one error message, but it's something about the statistics. We're not particularly interested in those, so let's just close this. And here we see the resulting image of our different clusters. It's again, it's a great, it's now displayed as a grayscale image. Um, and we see it's not a smooth image, but instead it's a classified image where the, each pixel has been assigned a value depending on to which cluster the algorithm thinks that it belongs to. Uh, so we can make this more clear by going to the symbology and just giving all of this a different color. And we're going to just assign random colors. And if you click the classify button, then we'll just get the different classes and we can sort of distinguish them. It's not perfect. It's going to be hard to distinguish between these two greens, but let's just see what we've got so far. So it's clearly classified these fields as uh, a separate field, it's, it's clearly recognized the, the sea with the very small islands or possibly some bits of cloud here. Um, other areas are very complicated and uh, have many different classes side by side. 